This is the backtest of a strategy trade in the US 30. And in this video, I will show you exactly how I increase the performance of this test dramatically by just changing one single factor. And this is no cheesy over-optimization thing where I explain that you will just have to pick one specific um, input, for example, for the take profit or something. This is indeed really, really fundamental because one of my main things that I look for when I develop new strategies for Forex or CFD or whatever trading is that there has to be a fundamental idea that makes sense. So watch the whole video to learn what I'm talking about. So first of all, let's have a look. <clears throat> this is in the um, US 30. I use data from the tick data suite, so I have um, a good history quality. And now, first of all, let me show you how this strategy works. And then I will show you what input or what factor I change to increase the profitability. And especially I want to explain why I changed this input and why I knew that it makes sense even before I tested. So this is um, now the test uh, starting just in 2023 and you can see here this is the strategy so during the day and this is a strategy that is well known on the channel already it's this range breakout expert advisor where we just choose a time range at the beginning of the day so in this case it's from 9 to 14 30 and yeah you can just see it here we just print this range in the chart we have the highest point we have the lowest point and once the range is complete we will place buy stop and sell stop orders at the borders of this range. So at the top, we will have this buy stop. At the bottom, we will have this sell stop. And yeah, you can see then there is a stop loss in the middle of the range. And then eventually at the end of the day, here it is um, 19, uh, 19 o'clock, we will just close this trade, whatever happens. And you can see this sell trade was indeed a winning trade. Then we have a buy trade, which was a losing trade. We have another sell trade, which was a losing trade. And if I fast forward this, you will see that a lot of these trades are winning. A lot of these trades are losing. And on general, we should see a positive performance. But of course, not all of these trades are positive. And you can see, for example, here, we have a lot of negative trades and now i was wondering what can we do or what is a intelligent approach to trade this strategy in this specific symbol and it is really important we are not trading a forex pair for example because this what i'm telling you here in this video it cannot be applied to forex pairs so or other cfd products for example but here we are trading a stock market index and this is the main point and the main um, thing that I base all of my uh, or that I based all of my thinking on so what happens with uh, indices so for example if we have a if we look at um, the long-term chart of the uh, US 30 here and I can get it on the screen and let's have a look at the weekly chart maybe maybe so we are really looking at the really 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 big picture and you can see here i have data starting from <clears throat> uh, from 2012 but it doesn't really matter so you can also have a look at the chart from starting from 2000 for example and you will see usually the overall price or the the index will increase and this is uh, based on fundamentals of course because the economy is growing, usually. I mean, this is the main goal. This is, this is what everyone working in finance and in the government and everyone is working on a growing economy. So, like, nobody really benefits, benefits if economy is decreasing. And this is the main thing that I kept in the back of my mind. And if we have a look, at, for example, at the daily chart or at any... A higher time frame we will see that in general of course market is going up and this is why I went back to my testing environment and when I optimized this strategy I always made sure that I put 
one input parameter into the optimization parameter list. And it is here. You can see in this specific expert advisor, and you can of course add this feature to any of your expert advisors, I have the chance to define how many maximum buy and sell trades I want to take every single day. And the last test that I showed you, like this long-term performance, performance, which was still profitable, which is great, but it was not like super profitable. And here I have the chance to modify the input. So I can say I want to have, I still want to have a buy trade, but I do not want to have these sell trades. So I will just say I do not want to take any sell trades. And this is not like some random over optimization stuff. This is because of the same thinking or the logic that I just tried to explain you because in, on gen, in general econom, uh, economy is going up, economy is growing. So this actually really, really makes sense from a fundamental point of view. So let me show you another um, visual test here starting in 2000 or 2023 and now with this modified input set. So you can see Strategy is completely the same. I'm not optimizing anything else. There's no opt over optimization going on. I'm just optimizing or changing this one parameter. And of course, in this case, we are missing out a profitable sell trade because the first sell trade was indeed profitable. But um, yeah, we can still make the buy trades. And this was a negative buy trade. But if we have a look at the bigger picture, and this is what I want to do in a second, like the overall test should look better like this. Okay, this is a really um, a not a good example because it looks like the beginning of 2023 was not profitable for the buy trades. But um, what is also important when you are backtesting and when you are working on new strategies, you should never really look at one week or one month or something like this. What I always advise is that you really have a look at the long-term backtest. So yeah, make sure you do not test only one or two months because of course, if we have a month that is not um, like, let me get the chart on the screen again, US 30, for example, probably the beginning of 20, um, 23 was not really, um, uh, the, the, the economy was not really going up at the beginning probably. So you can see this is uh, like the beginning of um, 2023, market was coming down a bit, was a little bit sideways. But what we want to do here is we want to have a look at the bigger picture. So this is what I want to do now to finish off uh, the test. And I mean, we can see still like 2023 so far was still profitable with these settings. So what I want to do now is I want to make a backtest for a really longer period of time. So I'm just changing um, the date here, the starting date and the rest completely, uh, we say the same, like completely. So we are just taking a long term um, uh, time window and I'm testing this now uh, from the beginning of 2015 all the way to, I think, November 2023. This is where my data um, currently ends. So let's have a look at the graph, and then in the end, let's have a look at the uh, final um, results of this test. Okay, so there we go. Uh, you can see now the test is running way smoother, at least, at least in the period that I tested it. And also, if we have a look at the backtesting results, it's now uh, way be better than before. So profit factor is going up, pretty much everything's going up. And yeah, now this might be a strategy that you actually want to trade. I mean, maybe still need some more, need some more um, research and optimization and testing and everything. You know the, the game, then there are still some important tests missing, like the live test comparison and everything. Uh, just to figure out if the test is realistic, if slippage is realistic, if costs are realistic. I mean, this is not the end of the optimization process. I just wanted to give you an idea of how to or how I approach um, system development or strategy development and what are the things that I think about. And yeah, often I really try to find a fundamental background for a strategy. So something that really makes sense because I, I don't 
want to trade just like one random indicator or something. Not saying indicators are bad, but I really want to understand why should I trade this strategy. So yeah, I hope this video was interesting for some of you guys. Maybe you um, do some research into, into this specific direction on your own now. And let me know what you think about it in the comment section below as always. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to learn more about automated trading and uh, programming in general. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades.